guys, we are going to be going over the kip swing today. Um, and I have my lovely assistant, Nick, here to help me out. So first thing we need to go over is the two major positions uh, within the actual kit. So Nick is gonna demonstrate for me the hollow position. You'll notice rib cage and hip bone are nice and close, only as lower back is touching the ground. And then you have your arch position, also known as Superman position. Same idea, nice and tight here. He is fully elongated the entire way through. All right, you're good. So you need to remember these two positions as we go through our kip swing. So when you are doing a kip swing, you're, there's a prerequisite. In order to be safe through the shoulders, you need to be able to do a scap retract. So let's turn around and show them. So you can, dead hang is right here. Scap retract means he's gonna retract his scap. So you have to be able to hold that for about 60 seconds. If you can do that, then you're ready to move on to the kip swing. All right, you have that. All right, so the kip swing, he's gonna hop up to the bar. He's gonna make sure he's not dead hanging. And the first thing he's gonna do is gonna initiate with his upper body. So I like to say, slam your head through the window. And you'll notice that as he naturally does that, his head goes forward, his feet go back. All right, you can relax. So that's how you initiate the movement. Once you get that nice rhythm going, you can start to be a little more aggressive where as he's in this arch position, as he moves to hollow, he's gonna actively use his core to get there. So he's gonna jump up, start with just the shoulders. There you go and then get a little more aggressive as he goes. Notice how he stays equal. He's only kicking as hard as he can uh, push his shoulders back. All right, so that is the kip swing and that is going to be how you initiate uh, both the toaster bar and the pull-up kip as you move forward. 